Hi everyone, my name is Erin and I'm a librarian at the Waukesha Public Library. This video shows some instructions for completing our August Take and Make craft, which is this little embroidery hoop. So if you'd like to make this with me, the first step is to stop by the reference desk at the library to pick up one of these kits. These will be available starting Wednesday, August 12th, and they contain everything that you'll need to make this craft. So uh, pick up a kit and follow along with me here to learn some basic embroidery techniques. Okay, the first step is to mount your fabric in the hoop. So you'll loosen the screw to separate the rings of the hoop. Then take the smaller ring and place it under the fabric. Place the outer ring on top and press them together. You'll want to center the pattern as much as possible and then pull the fabric taut so that there aren't any loose spots there. And then you'll just tighten the screw. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to cut some of the excess fabric around the edges just to get it out of the way. Um, you don't want to cut it too short though. Make sure you leave enough so that we can finish it on the back. I'm going to start with the black floss. So embroidery floss has six strands. You can use as many as you prefer. Um, obviously fewer strands will result in a thinner line. So for this pattern, I'm going to use all six strands. And I like to do this by first cutting a length of floss and then dividing it into two lengths of three strands each. Once you've got your two lengths of floss, you'll set aside one and take the other and thread the needle with it. You'll want to pull it all the way through and then tie that two ends together. So this way you're actually stitching with all six strands and you don't have to worry about one end of the floss slipping out of the needle. We're going to fill in most of the pattern using the back stitch. This is a fundamental embroidery stitch that's great for outlines. You can see here that I have already done part of the pattern, but I've used the same stitch that I'm going to show you. So to do the back stitch, you'll poke the needle through from the underside of the fabric at a point ahead of where the line starts, and then go back through the fabric at the start of the line. You'll come back up ahead of the stitch that you just made and then go back down through where you came up for that last stitch. This is a little hard to verbalize, but hopefully you can see how it works here. Really, you just keep doing that. You go, you come up ahead and go back at the point that you last came up through the fabric. You go ahead and back and ahead and back. Just make sure that you're always pulling the thread all the way through. The size of your stitches doesn't really matter. You'll just want to make sure and keep them consistent. Eventually you'll reach a point where your floss is too short, like I have here. So you'll need to cut it off and tie it on the back side of your hoop. Uh, just a basic double knot works well here. And once you've done that, you can just re-thread the needle and keep going. Okay, so at this point, I've outlined the pattern with the back stitch in black, and I'm going to switch to using the green floss for the rest of the pattern. First, I'm going to use the back stitch for the stem of the plant, and then I'm going to use the satin stitch for the leaves. 
Satin stitch is the stitch you're going to use for filling in areas of color. Really, it's just a bunch of parallel straight stitches that are close together. I'm also going to use this stitch to fill in some of the lines on the leftmost book spine. Um, but you can really get as creative as you like with the details. You could do the whole thing in green, you could use no green, you can do whatever you'd like. When you're all done stitching, you can finish the hoop in a few ways. The easiest way is to do what I've done on the right here, which is to trim the fabric to about a half inch around the edges and then use glue, hot glue or any other kind of craft glue, just to stick it to the inner ring of the back side of the hoop. But if you don't have glue, I'm going to show you another way to finish the hoop. So you'll want to trim the fabric all the way around, thread a needle with floss, and then run a loose stitch around the perimeter of the fabric about a half inch from the edge. When you've gone all the way around, you'll pull the ends of the floss taut to cinch the fabric and tie. Okay, so we're almost done. The last step here is to remove any areas of the blue fabric pen that might still be showing through. It's a little hard to see here, but you might have some areas that you want to get rid of. And to do that, I'm just going to use a Q-tip with some water and just dab it away. And once you've done that, we're all finished. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this craft. If you share a picture of your finished hoop on social media, we would love to see it. You can tag the library or you can use our hashtag, which is WPLSRP20. That stands for Waukesha Public Library Summer Reading Program.